Hello, and welcome to the NVAC Lab. Today, we're highlighting a couple of animals that no longer wander the Earth. During the last ice age, or the Pleistocene as geologists call it, large mammals thrived as glaciers advanced and retreated across the Northern Hemisphere up until around 11,700 years ago. These megafauna included giant beavers, saber-toothed cats, now extinct forms of bison, elk, and two of the most famous, mammoths and mastodons. Mammoth and mastodon fossils have been found throughout the Midwest, including Wisconsin. Here at MVAC, we have a few of our own specimens from within and outside the state. Remains such as leg bones, ribs, tusks, and teeth tell us about how these relatives of modern elephants looked and behaved, and also the environments in which they lived. Mammoths, like the one here on the left, stood around 10 to 12 feet at the shoulder. Mastodons were slightly shorter, more like 8 to 10 feet, and stockier. Mastodons also had a flatter forehead and straighter tusks. Teeth point to differences in diet, and thus differences in the habitats in which mammoths and mastodons lived. This is a single mammoth tooth. The chewing surface on this mammoth tooth has small, low, flat-topped ridges. Mammoths were grazers who lived in open environments like tundra, grasslands, and savanna. Teeth like this one were perfect for grinding the grasses growing in these areas. Mastodon teeth, on the other hand, have cone-shaped bumps, as this example shows. Mastodons were browsers who lived in wooded environments. This type of chewing surface was adapted for crushing woody material such as twigs, shrubs, and trees. Teeth tell us something about what mammoths and mastodons ate, but what about their relationship with humans here in North America? By the end of the Pleistocene, the first groups of people had migrated to the Americas from Eurasia. They hunted megafauna as well as smaller animals, and gathered plant foods. Their skillfully crafted stone spear points provide evidence of hunting activity. In certain cases, those tools have been found directly associated with the bones of mammoths and mastodons, indicating that these animals were being hunted. Mammoths and mastodons went extinct around the end of the Pleistocene. Scientists are still trying to understand the roles of climate change, hunting by humans, and even disease in the demise of these Pleistocene megafauna. In the meantime, the bones of these fascinating animals help us to imagine how different our region was over 10,000 years ago.